So you, you make music at home, right? Yeah. So home studio. And you live together. Yeah. So what kind of what's the music making kind of procedure like? How does how does it kind of explode together? Yeah. <laughs> Very explosive. <laughs> extremely intense. There's not enough hours in the day. Yeah. Um and there's a lot of passion, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. In a good way, but you know, sometimes it can get, you know, a bit oh, well, you know. <laughs> I mean, why not, you know? What's wrong with a bit of passion? Yeah. But is it, is it like he's like cooking eggs in the morning and then you just start singing and then he's like, I like the sound of that and then... <laughs> to, be honest, to be honest, a little bit, but, um, yeah. you know, we, we plan ahead a lot. So, um, you, know, if we're multi you know, if we're working on multiple projects at a time, which we often are, um, mm. you know, it's really being disciplined with, okay, so what are we going to do in the next hour? And actually the pressure can be a really good thing because it, it forces you to... Um, really pull the cat out of the bag you know actually working to deadlines is always important even if you internally set them yourself um so we're always working to that deadline um which is is great isn't it really important mm. uh, sorry did i interrupt you no 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 mm. you guys are married right yeah when, yeah. when did that happen <laughs> oh, four months ago i think yeah four you're underestimating the time, mate. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it was on. We got married on the tenth of June, twenty twenty-three. Five months. Yeah. Is it six? It's getting on for six. Well, no, Christmas time. Let's not wish the time away. Yeah, we got married, and that was before we arrived at this studio. Yeah. And sorry, you were going to say something. No. Um, yeah, we uh, we had different hair at that time. It changes all the time. But yeah, we got married then, and we're very very happy. Very very happy. It's an amazing partnership. Nice. <laughs> how, how did you guys meet? You can explain. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Bo Bowen was uh, my sort of solo project f uh, to begin with. It was, um, and uh, Monty's brother's girlfriend was uh, supporting Bo Bowen at the gig, and uh, uh, Orlando, Monty's brother, came, saw the gig, and uh, told Monty about the gig, who was found me and all Had a the, quick look online, you know, as you do nowadays, yeah. everything online. And uh, just messaged me. But, um, well, it took me, it took me a couple of weeks to message you. Uh, and I spoke to my brother a few times about, oh, you know, asking questions. And he went, Oh, you're gonna have to go and find out for yourself. Why don't you give the guy a message? So no, I can't, I'm gonna be, he just won't, he won't realize that I've messaged him. And of course, within half an hour, the rest, the half an hour, the rest of yeah. everything was just history. And we yeah. hit it off straight away. And within weeks, yeah. That was that. May as well have got married there and then, really. But because we're such intense musicians, when we heard each other's music, um, you know, that, that sort of really said a lot about, mm. about each of us, really, and we sort of really understood each other from there. Yeah, so. when I first heard your, your, your singing and, and the guitar, I just thought, that's the sound I've been waiting for. Because I come from a family of they were all the guy, everybody's guitarists. And, so, and I'm a bass player, bass guitar player. And, um, you know, guitar music has always been very important for me. I'm also a, a composer of music. And uh, so I was always searching for that sound that even with great music, guitar music that I loved, I, I still hadn't found. I don't know what it was. It was like there was something missing for me that I needed from the music that I write. And then when I, as, as soon as I heard you, the sound was there. So it was, it was a soul, it was a meeting of souls. It, it was soul, we're soulmates, but with that added, um, gift of of song which is just amazing it's lovely yeah <laughs> it sounds like your wedding vows oh something. yeah <laughs> Not far we should have done we should have we should have yeah we kept it a bit traditional actually but we should oh, have had enough. we yeah. should have no but we should have added that in there yeah um we've done it now yeah it's on docu <laughs> <laughs> so how did you kind of individually get into music first <clears throat> has it always been a part of you or yeah, you came out singing, really, didn't you? So. Uh, yeah, yeah. My mum, she always said that I would, I could sing before I could talk. Wow. Um, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, it was always twinkle, twinkle, little star from, uh, you know, but always singing. And then my mum, there's a tape actually that we, she gave us not that long ago mm. of her saying, okay, now sing the words, sing the words. No, no, no. I wasn't interested. It had to go back to the tune. So I was always singing. Yeah, um, yeah it was inevitable. I mean, both my parents are. Uh, composers, so it was inevitable that I was going to go into it. Yeah, yeah. you've always, you, it was the same for you really. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, there wasn't much else I was going to do other than music, <laughs> I think. 